Welcome aboard Challenger 350. Today we're going to take you flying with us so you can see what it'll do. This is Bombardier's first major rework of Challenger 300 in more than a decade. Importantly for everyday operations, max takeoff weight is bumped up so you can now fill the tanks and fill all nine seats. The new HTF 7350 engines have almost 500 pounds more thrust aside and they also have lower emissions combustors. Challenger 350 has 2% more range, in large part due to its new canted winglets that are lower drag and also extend wingspan. Out here too, we have new LED position lights that last about 10,000 hours. The new cabin windows are about two inches longer on the bottom. That provides about 18% more ambient light. Fore and aft double club seating is standard. The aircraft has a Lufthansa technique Nice HD, integrated cabin management and in-flight entertainment system. Touchscreen panels at each seat control lighting, cabin temperature, and entertainment choices. When the folding tables are extended, they fit flush with the side rails, creating a continuously smooth work surface from the cabin wall to the aisle side edge. A three-place divan is optional, adding an extra passenger seat. It replaces a pair of facing chairs and adds 98 pounds to empty weight. Up front, the cockpit is equipped with Proline 21 Advanced Avionics. Standard equipment includes synthetic vision, dual laser inertial reference units, multi-scan weather radar, upgraded FMSs, and a paperless chart capability. Demo pilot Bruce Duggan is our IP today. We'll taxi out from the Learjet ramp at Wichita Mid-Continent Airport to runway 19 right. Our takeoff weight is 31,600 pounds. Using flaps 10, V1 and rotate are 119, V2 is 127, and flap retraction speed is 144. We'll do a rolling takeoff. Power is up. Acceleration is brisk at this comparatively light takeoff weight. And we're airborne in less than 3,000 feet. Positive rate, gear up. Flying this airplane, it feels much larger and heavier than a typical super midsize jet. It's essential to keep trimming to manage the control forces. Passing through flight level 410, Bruce puts on his oxygen mask as we continue the climb on up to flight level 450. I'll couple the autopilot for an accurate cruise speed check. Okay, we're now at flight level 450. At a weight of 30,200 pounds, the aircraft is cruising along at 0.8 Mach on 1,580 pounds per hour. That gives us 455 knots true in ISA minus 6 degree conditions. Fuel burn is about 45 pounds per hour more than what Bombardier predicts. But we're over land where upper atmosphere air currents can bias our results. Gear three degree. At 28,900 pounds, VREF is 115. We'll fly the approach at REF 10 until we're over the threshold. First one will be a touch and go. A little high and a little fast over the threshold. Fast and high on the stripes. We're going to float with this big wing. Touchdown, finally. Retrim for takeoff. Flap set to 20 degrees. 
Bruce says go. Takeoff thrust set, rotate. Positive rate, gear up. This one will be a full stop. Touchdown. A little long, but in the zone. We'll use moderate reverse thrust and light braking. Overall impressions? Compared to the original aircraft, Challenger 350 is much improved because of boosts in range, payload, and fuel efficiency. Fill up the tanks, Fill up the seats and just go. The cabin is plusher, quieter, and more ergonomic. The new Lufthansa cabin management system offers plenty of entertainment options. Up front, much needed avionics upgrades ready the aircraft to fly in the 21st century airspace system. But this is not a soft touch airplane. It's, it's just plain heavy on the controls. You muscle it to master it. Thanks for flying with us today. Look for a full report in an upcoming issue of Business and Commercial Aviation Magazine.